Gotcha. Um, and so let's let's talk a little bit about some of those those issues that you've raised. Um, immigration and the border, you've taken a strong stance on. Like you said, you sued the Biden administration from your position uh, for halting the border wall. Um, you also authorized construction of a state-funded border wall. Uh, what actions would you take on the wall specifically and on border security more generally as attorney general? So as attorney general, I would carry on that litigation from day one. I would also forward deploy a mobile prosecution unit. So in Texas, sadly, uh, Ken has lost every area of original jurisdiction uh, available to his office uh, uh, under criminal law in the state of Texas, meaning he cannot bring criminal trespassing claims unilaterally in border communities in Texas. And so I'm the only candidate in this race that would actually take and has proposed every available resource we would have in the agency to forward deploy, much like what we've done with our National Guard in excess of 12,000 guardsmen that are now keeping the watch. We haven't made that commitment legally in the state of Texas. Additionally, I would also be sending uh, paralegals and lawyers to sign easements with private ranchers and farmers because people forget most of the border lands are owned not by the state of Texas, but privately. And so that requires um, easements to be drafted with private owners to allow for the continued construction of the Texas wall. Uh, secondly, I would also be drafting affidavits with farmers ranchers to allow for border patrol, county and local law enforcement to be able to interdict, apprehend and detain illegal immigrants under state criminal trespassing law. We cannot enforce federal immigration law, but to have those affidavits and to have that legal support there would incredibly enhance the ability for uh, local law enforcement to do their job. And then finally, I would be an advocate in the legislature. We, we've appropriated a historic amount of an additional billion dollars to help with border security with wall construction. But we have an AG that's facing his own felony counts in a Harris County court and an FBI investigation. So he can't claim the moral high ground on issues of criminality in the legislature because there is no trust there. So uh, the legislature is going to be holding the keys to the bank to help fund this, knowing that Joe Biden isn't going to do his job for the next three years on this issue and turn a blind eye to the national security issue that confronts us down here in Texas. And you said you you would work to uh, apprehend border crossers. Would you attempt to deport any and all border crossers, or um, would you make exceptions for asylum seekers, or how would that process work? So since we can't enforce federal immigration law, we would not contain the ability to deport. But what I do advocate is a deputization program. Um, it obviously would require uh, the Biden administration to help us out here, but to allow for ICE and Border Patrol to train or even secund um, officials to embed themselves with local law enforcement and state troopers so that we can arrest and deport uh, pursuant to federal immigration protocols. Uh, right now, if we were to detain, we can refer uh, an illegal immigrant to federal authorities so that they can um, leverage Title 42 to deport or other mechanism, uh, mechanisms available to them to deport. Um, at the federal level, as attorney general, I'll work with the congressional delegation to close the loopholes. The biggest glaring loophole that Border Patrol briefs me on is our asylum loopholes, which basically allows for somebody to claim um, an asylum proceeding if they come from a country other than Mexico, largely speaking from Central America. Uh, and that's creating one of the largest loopholes that we're seeing in the surges. Remain, if we can continue to keep the Remain in Mexico policy on the books that would do so much to uh, help our local law enforcement and our border patrol. But uh, to answer your question, the governor's Operation Lone Star effort to arrest under criminal trespassing claims is a deterrent. We're hearing that from coyotes, from smugglers that are later apprehended, that if they know that they're going to be arrested and detained regardless, even if they're encountered by a local law enforcement official, that is a deterrent more so than even being detained by uh, a border patrol official because they know that they, all they have to do is claim asylum and be caught and released and blend into the shadows because we're finding uh, less than half of asylum claims are actually showing up before an immigration judge on average three years after they get detained at our border. So we, we've created a system that incentivizes illegal immigration. I think the Texas uh, process is actually showing a deterrent that you will be arrested 
under uh, criminal trespassing laws and you will be detained. Uh, and do you think that these sort of laws are, are going to decrease illegal immigration through Texas and might it actually push illegal immigration towards uh, other border states, Arizona, New Mexico, California? We have seen that. Uh, we have heard that from Border Patrol officials and, and not to get too much into intelligence briefings, but you know, the, the fact is border cartels, the smugglers are counter surveilling all of our assets on our own border. And they know exactly the weakest points by which they can place pressure with uh, illegal immigrant uh, migrant caravans. And then that provides an opportunity for them to smuggle fentanyl and narcotics. So for them, it's a, um, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. All they have to do is place pressure in certain areas of our border and then take advantage of, of the weaker areas of our border. So, and, and they do know that Texas is gonna be more aggressive on this than, than other states. I mean, that's the reality. And so it'll place pressure on others. Um, but as an elected official in the state of Texas, I gotta do what I possibly can to protect uh, our own resources and our own people in our own communities. But we can lock arms with, say, the Attorney General uh, in Arizona, Mark Bronovich, who drafted an advisory opinion, which I support, and I would have drafted a long time ago as the Texas Attorney General, that asserts uh, the state of Texas' own sovereignty, as Arizona has, under Article 4, Section 4 of the Constitution, that pretty clearly states that the states, uh, that the federal government has the obligation to protect states from invasion, um, in this case, being um, non-state actors like bloody drug cartels that are placing pressure on our border and and for states giving them the authority to assert their own sovereignty and to whether it's to build their own wall uh, whether it's to send down national guardsmen or to have the legislature revisit their own laws criminally speaking to to address the situation and so um you know it, it, this is a this is a time in a crisis i know ukraine is grabbing the headlines but this is our this is our big issue, and we've got to address it uh, head on.